you need to add the fractions 5 eighths plus 3 sixteenths, here's how you do it. So what we want to do, we want to get the denominator here to be the same, get a common denominator. That way we can just add the numerators together and we bring the denominator across and we're done. Let's do this. Let's say 2 times 8. That would equal 16. We have a common denominator here. But we can't just multiply the denominator by a number. We need to multiply the numerator by that number too. So here we have 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 2 times 5, that's 10. And 2 times 8 is 16. And 10 16 that's the same thing as 5 8 They're equivalent fractions. The value's the same, just the way they're represented is a little different. So now we can add our 3 16 And because these denominators are the same, we just add the numerators. 10 plus 3 is 13. Bring that 16 across. And 5 8 plus 3 16 that equals 13 16 This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.